it's okay. story of the birth of the most significant person in human history. His name is Jesus, which means Savior, a name given him because he came to save the people from their sins. His birth was foretold by prophets, announced by angels, attended by shepherds, honored by wise men ignored by religious leaders and feared by the king. The Bible calls him the king of kings, yet he was born in a humble stable in Bethlehem and raised in the home of a lowly carpenter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by Him, and without Him nothing was made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. But as many as received Him to them, they gave the power to become the children of God, even to them that believed on His name. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Whoever should believe in him should not perish but have life everlasting. 
and the world was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father. And God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him a throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, but how can this happen? I am a virgin. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. Caesar Augustus, that all the world should be registered, and everyone went to their own town to register. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in danger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, and it will be to all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory. 
still another village where he worked in a carpentry shop for almost 30 years. And for three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He didn't go to college. He never owned a house or had a family. He never went to a big city or traveled 200 miles from where he was born. He did none of the things one usually associates with greatness. He had no credentials for himself. He was only 33 when the tide of public opinion turned against him. His friends ran away. He was turned over to his enemies and went through a mockery of a trial. He was nailed between two thieves, and while he was dying, his executioners gambled for his clothing, the only property he had on earth. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed tomb through the pity of a friend. 2,000 years have come and gone and today, he is considered by many to be the central figure of the human race. 
and the leader of mankind's progress. All the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat, all the kings that ever reigned and put together have not affected the life of man as much as that one solitary life. Thank you. 